Good girl. Why are you doing this? You good girl? Hello. See you again, sir. Happy to help you start over. Be seeing you. You came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon.
That you, Al? Hey, Tom? Picking up? Yep. Supposed to meet the early train to Saint Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. Yourself, friend, this won't take long. Danbury. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? Does that seem important right now? No. Need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I. I. thing to lose, especially over such a nice floor as this. It's here! It's here! You've done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you promotion for this. Nope. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again.
just in time. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were gonna enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Let's go, girl. Snake bite, fella? Again? You won't believe it. I got bitten again. It's real deep. Suck it out of me, please. You're damn lucky I have this. I can't believe I don't carry this with me. I owe you so much, mister. We've saved my life twice. Me neither. Well, I best be getting back to town. I'm gonna eat a stiff one tonight. 
<sighs> That's it. You ain't getting another out. Hey there, partner. Morning. Bonjour, monsieur. Hey there! Fine morning to you. Won't take long. There. Now the city's creating a new peril. Okay, there. The Italians who have recently Hello. been lighting on our heads. No one too. Cet endroit est vraiment devenu méconnaissable. One moment, please. 
This hey. is extremely delicate. There. Oh, wonderful. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite. Enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes. Yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something, uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> an artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, no, no. no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer, a wanderer, a lost soul cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Deserve what she got. Uh, she deserved oh, yeah. oh, you! Seems you know, remember me, friend? Oh, help me out again, would you? Oh, there he goes. I heard the neck snap. Damn. Cruel and abhorrent behavior will not stand in else. this country. These legs twitch. Justice won this battle, but the war is far from over. Heed these words. Bravo! Kind of makes me hungry watching that.
Good hey, morning. Mister. Good morning, mister. This the riverboat they're staying on? Yes, sir, they're here. Around this time, Mr. Calloway usually enjoying a drink on the observation deck. You can follow me. If you're quick, you might catch him sober. Oh, my friend with no name. You found us. Sure. How did you get on? About how you'd expect. Well, any good anecdotes? Anecdotes? From the old days. Uh. To be honest, things went a little differently. Uh, I did shoot a lot of people. I, I thought that's sort of what you wanted. Well, I'd, uh, <clears throat> yes, that'll be fine. Do you think anyone noticed it was you? Noticed? I think the people I shot noticed. <laughs> I mean, do you think anyone would mind if I, if we said he'd done it? Boy Calloway. Sure, I don't care. Just as long as I... Share the money? Of course I will. <laughs> Literature is a filthy business, but sometimes it pays well. Especially when you lie. Great. Not so goddamn fast! What the hell's going on here? Uh, nothing. Who's this grass name? Uh, you know? I don't know. Have you been being me? I'm nobody, buddy. Well, I'm somebody! <laughs> and I can't have any nobody being this somebody, you goddamn... I don't know what the goddamn you are, but trust me, it ain't nothing I want to be, so you can't be me. By the way, what works? Uh, damn you, Theodore Levin! You're a snake! Damn you! Hey, damn you, nobody! Hey, I'm already damned. Oh, uh, but I can't take credit for that, which I... Damn says I didn't. I... I'm an old man. Just never happened to Achilles, to Gawain, to Caesar. It can't happen to me. I'm gonna kill them both here. Yeah, calm down. I'm a legend! <laughs> yes, you are. <sighs> all, right, all right, well, let's prove it one more time. I don't have to prove nothing to you, nobody. No, of course you don't. But maybe you need to prove something to you. <laughs> you got quite a way with the words. Maybe uh, you should write my book and we should kill Plato here! No, 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 no. <laughs> let, let's not. Now, come on. Who shall we kill? I mean, you kill, I mean. Ah, damn. I slayed my dragons years ago. I'm a tired old man. Ah, uh, now, you're drunk and you're bored yeah. and you're a mess. Well, I always hated Slim Grant. Oh, he killed my cousin. But that was years ago. Well, where's Slim Grant? Who's Slim Grant? This is him. An old friend of Mr. Calloway's. He ain't no friend of mine. He's state marshal now, out of Annisburg. State marshal? Make a damn cousin killer state marshal, do they? All right, I'll go get him. Great. We'll wait for you at Brandywine Drop. All right, just sober up and start practicing. Otherwise, this won't be a book. It'll be a memorial. Yeah, whatever you say. <laughs> you know what? I kind of like that fella. Good morning. 
There you are. Come on. Keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, well, we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember. We just Please hand over don't, all your money Don't make now. us kill you. Quick. Mr. This M, leave the these mouth. fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly. Okay. Give me everything you got. Inside. Quick. Of course, of course. Just take it. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Come on. Yeah. These folks course. must have some money. All your money now. Don't make me <laughs> There's ask nothing twice. much here, okay? What? There's nothing uh, really you here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Come on now! We got you surrounded! That Six greasy son now. of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so! He's 
I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got... $15. Oh, <laughs> and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all.
Howdy, fellers. Howdy, partner. Hello. Hello again. Oh, hello. I'm sorry to say the Association of Discouraged Men has disbanded. Just isn't safe anymore. You'll pop in and see me anyway, though, I hope. Good lord. It can't be worth it. Down. Hello. Thanks, partner. Wasn't sure if I'd see you again. What can I offer you? That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. That gun seems to be well taken care of. Well, if that gun ain't shining, glad you take care of what's yours. Looks like you're taking care of that weapon. Good to see. Oh, you're back. Yep. So, is this your full stock, or do you have more hiding in the basement? Please don't. I'm really trying to put it all behind me. I couldn't be more sorry. <laughs> all right, all right. I won't mention it again. <laughs> Thank you. Let's well, have a look. It'll be here when you change your mind. Let me see what's available.
Hey, you know, that gun could use a few choice parts. Really make us sing. Had to have it, eh? If you're serious about your shooting, you'll want to add sights to your gun. I have one myself. That's a fine choice. You spend much time in the parlor house? Every time I'm there, I thank God I'm armed. Got what I need. Thank you. Hello. Hey there, girl. How do you do? Okay there. New revolver, eh? Yes. Bravo! 
Hey, Bill. Hello, Arthur. Here, we got a hold of the harmonica for you. I look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Huh. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you.
packed this place.
latest shipments is the Stay for it. I come home and the potatoes aren't even boiled. I tell her I work all day. You can't even boil a potato. You gotta put your foot down. Uh, See, I get home, I check everything. Every room, hair. every shelf, everything. Oh, come on! Y'all wanted in a drink? God's name? There you go. Are you blind, lady? Now shut the hell up. Oh, I can't. Hell. She's out yeah. her mind. What's wrong with come you? On. Let's go. I can't deal with this. This is my man. Sir? Hello, mister. Hey, Cap. I'll be right over. Clear this right up for you. What you need. Hey, so long. For Christ's sake. Hello. What's the matter with you?
Yes? Uh, I'm, uh, uh... Sorry. I'm looking for, um, the mayor. Yes. Please, uh, Mr. Uh, Kilgore, or what was it? Um, I forget. Quite. Welcome to government. Democracy. An interesting idea. Monsieur Lemieux? Come in. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. Tacitus Kilgore. Oh, really? Okay. Now, you are not going to rob me again, are you? No. I... I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry about it. But you are not a very popular man. There's all kinds of nasty people want to speak to you, Mr. Tacitus. I know. They won't hear anything about you from me. But? <laughs> yeah, there's always a but. Of course, I'm a politician. Who needs killing? Nobody. We are not savages, merely Frenchmen. Don't be ridiculous, killing? Oh, dear. Terrifying, yes. I suppose I can do that almost as well as kill. I'm sure you can. Now, it's all very ethical. You see, I've been trying to open a major museum, a place of culture to elevate people's souls. And what do museums need? Uh, art. <laughs> and how do you buy art? I don't know. I buy art of some nasty little man from Paris selling me some destitute aristocrat's collection of old masters that it turns out he may have been painting himself. Ouch. Ouch indeed. But these are good paintings. I can't make the difference, and I'm French. Only this even nastier little man from New Haven has come here to verify my paintings, and he's saying that they're all fake. So? So perhaps he can be persuaded to revise his opinion. Oh, he's been so beastly. Exactly. Now, Jean-Marc, perhaps you can take Mr. Arthur, oh, I mean Mr. Tacitus, to meet a little Professor Shitface and have a word with him. Saint-Denis welcomes you like a son, sir. Bonne chance. Come, sir, if you don't mind. The gallery is just at the end of this avenue. As I said, he is a beastly man, this professor. Sir, the professor will not be here for long. Believe me, friend, you ain't seen beastly yet. Not even close. You know, I thought we French had a monopoly on arrogance, but no. An overeducated American can be far, far worse. Well, luckily, there ain't too many overeducated Americans around. Yes, indeed. The mayor had such grand plans for our city and its people. We shall have true liberal democracy, working for the rich and the poor alike. It would be a travesty for this one man's opinion. <laughs> Put that into jeopardy. Opinions can change, can they not? Oh, they change all the time. Of course. The power of reason is not to be underestimated. Reason. Well, that's one word for it. Good, good. You do not look so much like a rhetorician, but uh, Monsieur Le Mieux placed his faith in you. Well, looks can be deceiving. The mayor understands just what I can do, I'm sure. Go to the right up here. The gallery is just up ahead. There, Mr. Arthur, there! Oh, what's his name again? Professor Shiftaker. Mayor asked me to get 
a preview of your findings in there. The mayor knows very well what I've found. Every painting was a brazen fraud. <laughs> that's a big claim. One that's gonna upset a lot of people. Myself included. I'm afraid that's just hard cheese. Now, I've got a train to catch back to New Haven. Hold on. I see it's gonna take a fist in your face to persuade you. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait. I gotta punch you to change your mind. I, I couldn't. My reputation. You gonna think of your reputation when your brain is jelly? I I'd never be published again. Maybe I'll just kill you. Make this all go away. <laughs> I relent. I relent. There. <laughs> you see, Professor, an academic reputation is really far less important than a broken nose. Yes, sir. I, I, I see that now. The thing is, now people are going to look at those paintings and love them. So. You're helping people, I, really. I, you know I'm right, Professor. Please, do not get me upset with you no, again. No, 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 sir, you're right. You're very, very right. So you're going to send the mayor what he needs? Um... Because otherwise, I'll be in New Haven. No, no, we don't want that. Of course uh, we I'll don't. I'll write my paper this evening, sir. Very good, Professor. Very good. Morning to you, sir. Morning to you. So, turns out, all those paintings were real after uh, all. Problem solved. Wonderful, wonderful. The mayor shall be so pleased. Sure. Was uh, Professor Schiftaker happy to change his mind? He wasn't initially, but uh, he came around in the end. Oh, my lord. This is not right. Trust me, I've done much worse. We shall burn in hell for this. Here's hoping. Yeah. The mayor asked me to give you this. Oh, thank you. 